As a professional photographer, a printer portfolio is a must-have. You can get one pre-printed or buy a clear sleeve book, but if you're a little handy, you can easily create one yourself. So here is how I made mine. Material. You will need your covers, some glue, bookbinding linen, some cardboard, more cardboard, some book screws, a folding bone, a hole puncher and a cutting machine. If you don't own a cutting machine, a box cutter will work just fine. Functionality. The book consists of a book body that's screwed together by some book screws and a book cover that's glued to the body. Thanks to the book screws, the pages are replaceable and by not putting the screws through the cover like they are in many books you can buy online, the whole book opens easier. Size. First, you will need to choose a size. I went with a page size of 34 by 24 cm and added 4 mm for the cover. For me, it was the largest size that still fits into my day-to-day -day backpack. Body. For the body, glue three cardboard strips to the linen. The outer two need to be exactly the same size, while the middle one is about the same size as your book screw. Make sure they're evenly spaced apart by using a spacer about 1.5 mm thick. Wrap the linen around the cardboard and use your folding bone to create a hinge. After drying, make one clean cut and punch the holes for the book screws. Then cut the other side to the exact height of the book. Cover As a cover, I chose grey cardboard and screen printed the cover onto it. I coated the back side by spray gluing some black paper onto the cardboard. It carries my brand and I believe it stands out from the other portfolios. There are numerous ways to cover your book and I will link to some good other tutorials in the description. You will most likely have to cut your cover elements beforehand. This isn't a problem, it just means you have to work even more precise. You also want to cut the spine to be a little wider than your book screws. Now cut two strips of linen to the same size and glue the cover, spine and back cover onto it as you did before with the body. Make sure everything is centered and evenly spaced. Then cover the hinge from the inside as well. Let the glue dry, cut the linen to the height of the book and now glue your body to the cover. Pages. Now comes the hardest part, editing and layouting your portfolio. Try some stuff, then ask some friends for criticism and test even more. At one point you will have to start printing, meaning you will have to choose a paper. There are some decent double sided papers on the market, just order some test strips. I went with Teco PFR220, it's a good matte double sided paper. You will waste a lot of time, ink and paper in this process, but that's normal, try to enjoy it. Make sure you print the pages with cutting marks and after printing cut them down precisely and punch the holes. Insert them into your portfolio and screw everything together. If you got any questions, please feel free to hit me up on Instagram. And if you use this tutorial to create your own portfolio, I'd like to see a photo of it.